10 trailers allow you to travel without reservations. Who needs a hotel if you can park the pop-up? Besides, you don't get fresh air and campfires at a hotel. 10 trailers have been around since the early part of the 20th century, and you could describe them as an overnight success. Today's 10 trailers are equipped with modern conveniences that would make anyone a happy camper. Workers begin production by welding tubular steel components together to establish a solid framework. Once it's painted, plumbed, and partially wired, wheels are bolted into place. The water storage tank goes in next. Then, aircraft-grade steel cables are strung from corner posts to a central bar. This bar is called a whiffle tree. Cranking up the whiffle tree will cause the cables to lift the corner posts, raising the trailer's roof. The trailer is wheeled to the next station, where workers lower a vinyl-covered wooden floor onto the chassis and secure it with screws. Then, they connect a cluster of wires to those already installed on the chassis to run things like kitchen appliances and stereos. The interior front wall is riveted to steel bulkheads and the trailer chassis. More wiring is threaded through the bulkheads to the trailer's side lights, and then the exterior panel is installed. Workers slide the roadside panel over the lift posts and secure it. The curbside exterior panels come in two pieces to create a space for the trailer door. Corner molding completes this assembly. Next, workers move inside and install the framework for some bench seating. They install the lower cabinetry for the kitchenette, then join it to the upper cabinet with a long metal hinge for easy pivoting. A mini fridge is inserted in the lower cabinetry and this folding kitchenette is complete. This is the pull-out platform for one of the mattresses. It slides into channels in the exterior walls. But there's a lot more work to do before anyone can take a nap. The trailer's tent is made out of water-resistant fabric. The five sections are sewn separately, then zipped together at an inspection station. Inspectors scrutinize every seam for flaws. Once the tent passes inspection, it's fit onto the trailer one section at a time. Now it's time for a little roofing. The trailer's roof is made by sandwiching together many materials. And that takes a lot of industrial adhesive. The glue is rolled onto these plywood slats. These foam insulation boards also get a generous coating. Workers place the glued foam onto the roof's fiberglass outer skin. They position the wooden slats along the perimeter and add bands of metal for more reinforcement. The final layer is vinyl-coated plywood. It will be the ceiling of the trailer. A large roller compresses the glued layers together. After grooves and notches have been cut into the roof, it's wired up and 12-volt interior lights are installed in the ceiling. Trim is added to the roof's edges along with a gasket to keep it watertight. The roof's flaps are folded in a tray-like configuration and the corners are capped. Workers are now ready to raise the roof and install the tent. The assembly is inserted into grooves in the trailer ceiling using a pneumatic hammer. This tent trailer is now ready to pop up anywhere. It can accommodate a small family and is equipped to feed them outdoors or inside. It even comes with a screen door because you never know when adventure will come knocking. <laughs>